Hey, it's Tesla Connect. Welcome back to another video. I've been doing a series of videos uh, basically looking at the efficiency of the Model Y with the heat pump. And I've done a number of cold battery tests. So that's when I haven't preconditioned and uh, you know just done a stone cold battery went out to test the efficiency. A lot of my viewers have asked me if I could do the same test only with preconditioning the battery instead of a stone cold battery. So obviously I am uh, very happy to oblige that. And I know there's been a bunch of these efficiency videos. I'm going to do more videos <laughs> on different topics, but this seems to be very uh, timely and a lot of people seem very interested in the efficiency videos. So uh, that's why I'm kind of on this efficiency tear, if you will. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the conditions today. Uh, we are at minus seven degrees Celsius not sure what that is in Fahrenheit um, off the top of my head. And yesterday we were at minus 11. Now, I mean, I don't think that's going to make a, a huge difference to the comparison versus, uh, you know, the cold battery and the preconditioned battery. Uh, so we'll see what, uh, what the results are. Now, in terms of preconditioning, first off, if you don't know, if you're not aware, uh, the way you precondition a battery on a Tesla, there's, there's three different ways. One is you can schedule a, a departure time and the car will automatically precondition its battery prior to your departure time. You can also just in the app turn on the climate control or I believe you can also in the climate um, settings turn on defrost. All, all three of those ways will precondition your battery. And right off the bat, and I preconditioned for 20 minutes, um, right off the bat I can tell you I have regen. I had no regen yesterday. So I have strong enough regen right now that I can come to a complete stop. Uh, so I know right off the bat that's going to uh, make a dramatic improvement. That's my prediction over the efficiency of yesterday. What else can I tell you? Um, so preconditioning, it uses about two kilowatts of energy. Um, from your electrical grid as you are uh, preconditioning. I preconditioned for 20 minutes, so two kilowatts. Uh, it's about 14 cents um, per kilowatt hour where I live. So I'm looking at about 28 cents to, I think 28 cents? No, wait a minute. Yeah, if I'm using two kilowatt, 20 minutes, I'll do the math. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to do the math. Um, but you know, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 cents to precondition your vehicle for 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to try to make this one quick. I'll only chime in if something interesting happens. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you again with the results and uh, let's see what happens. Actually, sorry, I'm going to chime in again. I keep doing that. Um, <laughs> In case you haven't seen my other videos, just very briefly, uh, what I try to do is I try to make this as real world as possible. And uh, that means that I'm driving about 10% over the speed limit. I am not trying to drive for efficiency, not in the least. I am driving this like, like you normally would drive on any other commute on any other day, uh, just so that we can get accurate results for people in terms of how they actually use the vehicle ver versus trying to hyper mile or some something like that. So um, just wanted to add that context. So yes, now I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> want to chime in uh, here on the exit from the freeway yesterday when I did the test I had uh, on the cold battery I had no regen to speak of I've got enough regen that I haven't had to touch the brakes yesterday I was on the brakes um, pretty hard on this uh, exit so 
the preconditioning has definitely made an impact, um, I think just by virtue of having some regen. Uh, so far we're well ahead of where we were yesterday. All right, let's uh, unpack this drive. Um, so we've ended up here, we've gone 51.1 kilometers, which was the same as uh, yesterday's test. We've used 208 watt hours per kilometer. The temperature is minus eight. It ranged between minus seven and minus nine during the drive. Yesterday's test on a stone cold battery, the range of temperature was minus nine to minus 11. So I'm very confident in the results of this test. The weather conditions were almost identical. And I can tell you without doing the math just yet that there's a very meaningful impact on efficiency and range with the combination of preconditioning your battery and the heat pump. Probably rough math, I'd say 10 to 12% improvement over um, the stone cold battery test of yesterday. So the, this is absolutely amazing. Um, I, I, I'm kind of, kind of speechless. I mean, cold weather driving uh, range loss is, could it be a thing of the past? Like I'm, I'm really impressed with what Tesla has done with the heat pump and of course the octo valve. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna produce this video, I'm gonna do the math and uh, and uh, see what the final numbers are. But thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your support as I go through all of these efficiency tests. Tesla Canuck, over and out.